You guys, Rihanna has officially entered the activewear space. As soon as I saw they made some activewear called Savage X50 Sport, I had to take a look. I don't know why I was surprised because this does seem very on brand for Rihanna who's like created a lingerie line. Like this is very on brand for that, but it was a little shocking. It was a little shocking. I thought there'd be some more neutral pieces. We have some very, you know, just, just use your imagination and we'll see if it lines up with what we have today. So through doing some research about the Savage X Fenty Sport, we learned some things. I'm just gonna show you one piece for example. This is actually the most tame of the pieces, but we have the signature bikini underwear lines on the outside of the leggings. And a lot of these pieces have that. And I am gonna put my differences aside for that today. My views towards underwear lines on the outside of leggings it's not good. I just think we've spent so long like trying to hide underwear lines and now we're trying to embrace them, but not really, like we're not really embracing them. This is like a different way of thinking about it, which I don't really care if anyone has underwear lines on their leggings because like, you know, not everyone likes to wear a thong. But for me, it's just, it's just not really what I go for. Anyways, I saw these leggings and I was like, okay, immediately this makes sense for a lingerie brand, you know? But doing some more digging and someone had actually messaged me to telling me to like look into this, but Rihanna who has created this brand, she has worked with a designer named Adam Selman multiple times. He's designed some of her runway looks or red carpet looks. He, to my knowledge, is the OG designer of the underwear line leggings. Like he created this look, almost like a nod to like the Jazzercise era. So he created this look and he collaborated with her on Savage X Fenty Sport. So I feel like that changes the way I look around this a little bit because he was the one who like came up with this and he's bringing it into her pieces. So I think that's a really fun collaboration for her to have. And while I am not personally for the underwear lines on the outside of your leggings, I feel like people kind of get into like a dangerous discourse around the whole underwear lines around your leggings thing where I see some people saying like, oh, like you're asking for attention. Like, oh, you're asking. And that's just, that's just not an okay way to think about things. I don't care what you're wearing to the gym. I don't care if you're wearing an arrow that's pointing directly at your parts. I don't care. No one's ever asking for any sort of harassment about the way they're dressing or looking. So we're going to step away from the judgment just so things don't get to that point. Because if you are someone who's kind of mentioned that before, just like, you know, women don't deserve any blame for the harassment that we get in the gym or outside the gym anywhere. You know what I'm saying? I think you guys understand. So I went on the website to shop this collection and I was hit with something I was not expecting. I've never shopped Savage X Fenty before, so I didn't know about this. But guys, we found another victim of the Fabletics effect. And this is not an effect that I like. Subscription services have just taken over the internet and they've entered the clothing space, which is just so unnecessary. So you need to have a VIP membership to even get on this website, guys. And I looked in the fine print of their terms and services and I like control f Fabletics and alas, Fabletics was in there. So Fabletics is behind Savage X Fenty, just like they did for Yiddy by Lizzo. I just don't think Fabletics is great. You know, I just don't, I don't really like their stuff. And I just kind of get a sketchy feeling behind a brand that is going to automatically charge your credit card $49 at the beginning of every month to have this membership, even though you can use that $49 towards buying things, or I guess you, you can skip it as well. But it just, it just seems like they're trying to sucker people in to paying money into a service that they're not really getting anything from. So we will also put aside our views on that and just review the pieces. But I was very upset to learn that they are also one of those brands. So after I do this review and, you know, keep whatever I want, return whatever I want, I will have to cancel my membership so I don't get charged random amounts of money. So unfortunate. That being said, let's go over some of the pricing. Anything that's associated with Fabletics, honestly, is usually a pretty decent price. So I got nine pieces. I essentially bought everything in the collection except for the bodysuits because I just like, I don't really wear a lot of bodysuits. Plus I don't really find those exercise friendly unless like maybe for like a pole class or something that I could definitely see, but that's not really what I do. I got nine things. Um, the initial subtotal was $454, which again, actually not horrible. Like for nine things, that's like $50 an item, could be worse. And then we had a deal for two for 29 bras, which took off $116. And then because it's VIP, whatever the heck that means, I just got a random 40% off. So the whole total, oh, I got charged shipping. Guys, why are we charging shipping when I just spent $200? Why are we charging shipping? Anyways, I got charged shipping and tax and then everything with the discounts came down to $260 for nine things. So that's like $28 per piece 
which I would actually say is like on the low end of price ranges. So it is affordable. You do just have to go through that whole membership thing, which I just think is kind of sketchy. Okay, so without further ado, let's start talking about the individual pieces. So since we already opened these up, let's just give these ones a try. So these are the Curve Alert ribbed high-waisted leggings. So just like initial thoughts, it does feel kind of like a thicker performance type fabric with some ribbed materials. So I would say like in terms of the underwear type leggings, this isn't the most obvious one. Like there's no contrast stitching like the Buff Bunny ones. Skims also has a similar look to this, but it's also not contrast stitching. So it's pretty similar, but I feel like the addition of the ribbed panels kind of like distracts from it a little bit. So I would say these are probably the most wearable leggings. Unfortunately, this does have a top band. So I don't like to see that but I just don't find that like very flattering. And then the back, we do have some curved glute seams with that ribbed insert and a little under glute contour. This is very Gymshark, like this little style here. There were only one length of all the leggings, so I'm not exactly sure what the length is. It's probably around 25 inches, but I will measure that. And then just a regular little triangle gusset. The pro of having these little underwear lines is that there's no true like front seam. So usually camel isn't like too big of an issue. I did get a small and everything. That's kind of where their size chart put me and what I generally wear. And these are a 79% polyester, 21% elastane. So pretty typical. I forget what the size range was. Okay, so the size range is extra small to 4X, which is kind of like a pretty standard range for like a more inclusive brand. I do usually like to see like extra, extra small because if I am a small, I like, I'm not even that small of a person, so I just I just feel like there should be an extra, extra small. But anyways, let's try this on. And here are the leggings. And these, these feel pretty weird. <laughs> it literally does feel like I'm wearing a pair of underwear on the outside of my leggings. So that's an interesting feeling from the front. I appreciate how there's at least no front seam. Um, these two seams though, like if these are a little too snug on you, they could be pretty uncomfortable down there. So just keep that in mind. It does have a top band, but that's not necessarily cutting into me. Um, and uh, this is an issue I have with Fabletics where I feel like the legs are tight and the waist, I have too much space. Like, I mean, yeah, I guess I would say I have a little bit of gaping on these. So I just feel like Fabletics doesn't quite have like an, a snatched enough a waist for me just because I do have a pretty big difference between my hip glute measurement and waist measurement. So I wish that was a little better. The mesh cutouts are cute. I like how they kind of seamlessly go down under the glutes. This is a pretty like bold under glute contour. It's kind of giving monkey butt to me which I prefer a more subtle glute contour, like Honor Active Effortless, for example. I like how their glute contour is very subtle. This one's a little more bold. So this is not my favorite look. I also don't tend to find like the monkey butt type contours to be super flattering on the glutes. Like definitely this is not a low on the booty scale or anything. I just don't know how lifting it is. These seams though do go above the glutes. So we're gonna give it medium high on the booty scale overall. The fabric is pretty thick though, so you're not gonna get any sort of glute separation with this seam. With that being said, you probably will get some good cellulite coverage just because this fabric's on the thicker side. And for me, the length is about a seven eighths. So again, I'll put the inseam on the screen, but it's probably like 26 inches or something. Overall compression is about a medium. You can definitely feel the extra compression going on under the glutes here. So you can definitely feel like a little lift there. These have a performance feel, but they're not super sleek. Like they almost do have just a teeny bit of brushness to them. So they're a little like more dense, a little more warm, less sleek and slippery than like a performance like you will try on later in the video. Honest opinions. I mean, I don't really think this one is too bad in terms of the underwear lines. Like you can definitely see them, but with these other seams, I think it doesn't make it as bad. I don't know, it's kind of growing on me, but I just do have an issue with a lot of the leggings today with their waistbands. They just don't have a very flattering waistband going on. Like not the top stitching here. Like the top stitching is very 2005. Like what are we doing with that still? It's, it's 2022. I wanted to try to keep these sets together. So this is the Curve Alert Light Impact Sports Bra. So I got the same like wine kind of color. Okay, so we have an elastic on the bottom and this does look like it's going to be pretty cleavage-y. I can just tell this is not a lot of coverage in the cups for me, but for small cup sizes, probably be fine. Oh, wait, we do have adjustable straps, so I love to see that. And we also have a clasp back, so probably a little more flexible with the sizing for that. And then just some little extra strappy details. Let's try it on. Okay, so as expected, I am I'm popping out of this one. So this is like 
a push-up sports bra, essentially. This is the only bra today that has removable cups. So this is the only one that's going to be like nippage safe. I didn't think it would be like that sexy of like a sports bra, but it is definitely pushing the girls up. I feel like I'm gonna slip out of this one at any, at any point. So if you have a large cup size, this one is going to be very low coverage. The support is also a very light support, so I have to cover in case we had it. Like that's how close I feel like I am to falling out of this. These two little straps, they kind of like contour the girls. So they're definitely doing things. Straps here are adjustable. Um, I'm on the loosest setting here and it is pretty snug along the band. So I would say true to size, if you're in between, I would size up though, because you can tighten the band to a tighter point. Am I on the tightest? Oh. Just kidding, I'm on the tightest, that's why. So definitely true to size. If you're in between, you can maybe even size down. Whatever would give you the coverage you're looking for. So this one for me, I just wouldn't feel comfortable in because although I can appreciate a like sexier type sports bra, I feel like if I leaned the wrong way, we would have an exposure. And that's not a limit I like to press at the gym. The elastic is actually pretty soft at the bottom. Fabric is not itchy or anything, just not gonna be the most coverage. And then shall we jump in to the craziest leggings? I think we should, because a lot of what Rihanna was talking about with this collection when I was reading some articles, for example, she said, I was inspired by everyday life. Everything is a sport. Being pregnant is a sport. And I kind of love that, you know, we're advertising like, you know, anything can be difficult. So you can wear, you know, wear whatever you want for any occasion, right? But she said, for me, it was about fit and fabric. I let Adam Selman play with everything else. The pieces are sexy and snatch you, but it's functional. And that's what describes the whole sport collection. So I don't know about the functionality, per se of this next piece. So here we are. Um, just for like a second, like these remind me of these leggings on AliExpress that went viral like a couple years ago, like before TikTok was around to make things viral. It went like YouTube viral, but they're like this, I don't know what to call these, like stirrup leggings, like stocking leggings. I don't know. The reason why I'm not so sure that these are functional is because they have like a separate little strap on the outside that I just feel like would get in the way of things. But these are certainly unlike anything I've seen before. So right off the bat, we have a really thick elastic at the top, which this is why it's giving Fabletics to me. Like, I just feel like they have not like nailed down the flattering waistbands like other activewear brands have. So this super thick elastic, which I don't really think is going to be very flattering. And then we have this like stretchy mesh, which these will be very breathable. They are lined with like kind of a bikini shaped brief on the inside. So obviously it's not just like straight up mesh. And then there are like little stirrup stocking situation with like a performance material at the bottom. Well, let's try these on. At this point in the video, I, qu I question what my audience is going to be. So if you are a lady, a legging wearer even, watching this video, give it a thumbs up. Send it to the right audience, you know? Because I'm here for the people who are looking to wear these things, you know? Or just, you know, having a little fun seeing if this stuff's any good. Anyways, we have the pinup leggings. Would this be a super cute Halloween costume? Absolutely. We did just pass Halloween. But, wow. <laughs> these are the most interesting things I've tried on this channel, guys. Okay. So first of all, we have the waistband. It could be a little bit tighter for me. I don't really think, uh, we, see what I mean about this waistband? Like it's not necessarily gaping, but the elastics are so like dense that they just do that. Anyways, we have a high rise. Um, this little internal lining is super high cut that I'm having trouble hiding any underwear underneath it. So just keep that in mind. You really can get some, you know, actual like opening of this fabric right here. This is where, I question like the functionality of this a little bit more. Uh, they're very tight along this thigh seam right here and I could not size up because the waist would be too big. So um, this stitching right here just has zero stretch to it at all. Very stiff. So not the most thick thigh friendly because of that. And then this actually goes all the way down there. So it's not just an underwear situation. It's like actually the connecting down to the leggings. And then the back is, it's giving um, Incredibles, you know? This really feels like a Mrs. Incredible costume. So I actually like the shape of this. It's not too full coverage, but it's not fong. So I like that it's kind of in between. I appreciate that. I think it's still a flattering look, but not, you know, not something you couldn't wear outside. Would I wear this to the gym? No, I don't really see this as a gym wear piece. I know people would be like, oh, it's like street wear or whatever. What streets? What are the streets? What are the streets we're wearing this on? I think it's definitely like a cute like costume piece. If you're in like a sexy dance class or something, 
this would be adorable for that, but it's very niche. Like I wonder if this would ever kind of sell out just because it feels so niche, but you know what, you know, comment down below where you would wear this. I do think it actually is cute. Like it does snatch the waist. It's just, it's just not the most comfortable. And I did hear like a couple little crackles on the way on. I, I'm a little worried about the durability of this, but you know, that's something you risk with any fishnet tights. And then the full length, it's like a seven eighths ish on me. So I am five foot nine. So that's kind of a normal thing for me. So yeah, um, I'm not even gonna squat test these because I don't think that these would be leggings you'd really be squatting in, but we reviewed them. It's hard to say about compression. The bottom feels like medium compression. The fishnet is just like a unique, experience it's like hard to say and i am getting a little bit of waist snatching um i wish that they stayed up maybe like a teeny bit better just because like the elastic waistbands don't really have a lot of like i don't know i don't I just don't like an elastic waist but you know we don't, could, could be worse could be worse so those were the pinup leggings next we have the <laughs> oh man this is gonna be this is gonna be worse than i thought um the pinup sports bra so essentially it's just like teeny little little sports bra so no cut pads in this one or anything i believe there were cut pads in the last one they do have adjustable straps though so it's like this teeny little triangle sports bra with a mesh overlay so lots of mesh definitely ties into the bottoms and then we also have an elastic just at the bottom of the sports bra i love an elastic at the bottom of sports bras to kind of like lift as long as it's not cutting in but for legging waistbands I just don't think it's a good thing to have just because it can cut into the waist so easily. But let's try this on. Okay, <laughs> so this is another one where it's just it's just going to be very boobalicious, very sexy. Um, fortunately with this one, I feel more secure because the mesh does kind of like compress a little bit and I just feel like it keeps me in a little bit better. So this one does not have any cut pads. The elastic is, it's not too tight. It is like sliding up a little bit just because I just don't have a lot of room in the cups. And I'll kind of mention this later, but it just seems like all of these sports bras are like a little bit more catering towards small cup sizes where there are no true like higher coverage bras. You can still be sexy with a large cup size friendly bra. Even if you are trying to show more skin, you don't want to be falling out of it. So I think that that could be an improvement they could make for sure. Um, the bottom band has good support like light to medium support. I'm gonna go with low coverage still though, because even though this mesh is technically coverage, it's it's sheer coverage, so that doesn't really count. Side boob is pretty minimal, actually. It's all just, you know, front, front situation. Wearing these with the leggings, it is a little bit itchy. So I don't know, for me and my active wear, I do wanna be really comfortable. I like soft leggings, I like soft sports bras, even if they had good support. These are just a little bit itchy for me, so it's not something I could wear for a long period of time. Yeah, just like even this little band along here, a little bit itchy. And then the back, this one's just very plain. Straps are adjustable. Um, I would definitely say true to size. If you're in between though, I would go with a size up. Personally, I wouldn't have anywhere to wear this. Um, it's not something I would like to wear to like my normal gym. Even though I do like a good mesh look occasionally, I think it's mostly because of like the fishnet. That isn't my thing quite as much. Okay, next we have the Peak Performance High-Waisted Leggings. And I have to say, I think these ones are like actually kind of cute, but they're looking a little sheer they're looking a little sheer. So that's fine, that's fine. We're keeping keeping an open mind. Okay, again, the thick elastic at the top of the waistband. The thing about these thick elastics is that they're either going to be, you know, perfect on you, like absolutely perfect, which is just kind of hard to do, or they're a little bit big, which makes them gape a lot because they have so much structure that if they're a little bit big, they just like kind of bubble out. Or they're a little bit too tight, even if they fit you well, and then you eat breakfast or something, then they're squishing you and creating a muffin top, you know? More so than the looks of that, it's just like not comfortable to have an elastic just like squeezing you in, especially when it's kind of like a one inch elastic like this. So not super excited about that. But the rest of them, I do think these are like kind of fun and unique. I think that these are like their best leggings. So the whole thing is almost like a fishnet mesh. So very lightweight, very sheer along the leg. And these do almost have that kind of underwear type shape, except it's less like obvious to me that it's like that bikini type underwear shape. I think just because it almost looks like just like a triangle of the fabric to create some opacity. And then they have that on the back as well, which might not be super flattering on the glutes. So we'll see. But I did think that these were just like kind of cool looking. Like this is what I would expect out of like Savage X Fenty Sport, right? Like almost like a lingerie type feel in leggings. So let's try them on. Okay guys, um, ugh, I actually like wanted to like these because I think the mesh is like actually pretty cute. But something about this, this is giving like diaper to me. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know. It's just, it's giving diaper. Again, 
don't like the elastic waist. I feel like I'm pulling these up a lot. They're just not really staying where they need to be. And these are kind of leggings that you need to go commando under. I even, I tried to hide mine. I tried to pull them all the way up. They really don't wanna be hidden. So unfortunately that's just not how it's gonna be. Anyways, um, again, like with all of these leggings with this kind of like underwear shaped outside, there are no front seams. So we've had no camel issues today. So a little bit of appreciation for that. Overall compression, it's hard to say cause these are like super lightweight. I will say it's like a very sturdy, like tight material. Like that was me like, digging my nails into it, it's very sturdy. So, I mean, props to them for that. These are some quality tights, but that's really what they are. They're tights, they're sheer, like you can you can see everything underneath them, which is okay because I mean, you got the coverage here, but you know, just wanted to say. Also, I think I'm gonna remove the booty scale ranking on these because there's just something about them. They're just like, they're not rankable, you know? But these ones, I don't know. I liked the fishnet ones a little bit better. This one is giving a little more diaper granny panty. And I just, I don't feel like that's like as, like that's not the vibe as much. I don't know. I expected a little more, a little more cheekiness. You know, if, that, if that's what we're gonna do, if we're gonna do sheer leggings, you know, like might as well go for it, right? I will say, although these tights are very sturdy, they definitely feel a little bit tight when you bend your knees. And uh, I mean, they have decent flexibility still. They just, this just really wouldn't be something I would wear to the gym, which is okay. That doesn't need to be with this. Um, this definitely, again, seems like some sort of like dance class, something like that. But yeah, I wanted to like these ones a little bit more. I think it's something about the lines up here that I just don't feel like is quite as flattering. And again, I just think that they could really improve their waistbands. It's just not what I wanted. Um, and then they're all about the seven eighths length. Cellulite coverage, actually you probably would get coverage because of the texture. Um, I think that would actually, you know, kind of disguise a little bit of cellulite there. And again, compression is hard, but I almost want to say like medium to high compression. Like these are definitely squeezing me in, even though it's such a thin fabric. So the peak performance is sports bra. So we have that same little like mesh material and then some opaque fabric just underneath it to make this, you know, appropriate to be wearing out and about. Um, again, no cut pads in this one. Might be a little bit prone to nippage and then an elastic at the bottom. These ones, the straps are not adjustable. I, I worry that this might be a little bit itchy on the shoulders and like, everything but we'll see okay so i'm getting that rihanna is trying to like promote this idea of like you know wear active wear like whenever like anything is a sport but i feel like these are made for everything except like actual sports you know and you know wh whatever you define sport as but if we're talking active wear may maybe the first set maybe the first set but the pinup set and this one they're just really not going to be very functional at all for the gym. And for her to like emphasize functionality, these just really don't feel very functional. So this top for me, it's just like a regular bra. This is not feeling like a sports bra at all. Um, first of all, like I imagined, it's actually very itchy. This little strap right here is feeling super itchy against my lats. Very not comfortable. I've only been wearing it for a couple minutes. So um, can't imagine it's going to get any better with time. The bottom band fits. I am being kind of squished out of it again. So none of it, again, really feels very large cup size friendly. Not going to secure the bust, which I think is part of being functional. And I don't know, something about, like this almost looks like a balconette style bra, like straight up and down straps. It's just not giving sports wear to me. So I, I honestly feel like this whole fit together is just like a more coverage lingerie outfit, right? Like. This video is definitely getting monetized. So again, no cut pads in here. You can get some nippage for sure. With a little pattern, I feel like it would almost kind of obscure it a little bit, so I wouldn't be too worried. Here's the back just straight on. Got like a little scoop detail. Definitely can see a little more of the sheerness there. And then not only is that part cutting into my lats, the shoulder straps are very tight and this is cutting in too. So this one I definitely feel like runs a little bit small and I would consider a size up in this one. Coverage on this one is a little bit better. I'll go with the low to medium coverage just because i am getting squished out a little bit we have good side boob coverage though support support is like light to medium still none of these have been very supportive we kind of expected that though so yeah i don't know guys comment down below what do we feel about them calling this sportswear you know like on the one hand i get it but on the other hand like none of it seems very workout friendly so i don't know okay and then the last set so these are the line up high-waisted leggings again one of those like underwear shaped ones, except these are, these ones seem like the most 
functional for workouts. So immediately these are definitely feeling like a regular performance material legging that you'd find from like any brand, like sleek to the touch, not brushed, gonna be very durable. And Yiddy did the same thing. They had a lot of these like shiny type elastic waistbands, which it, again, just I don't really think they're very flattering. So I also just think they feel kind of cheap because I've never seen like an expensive brand have a waistband like this. It's always very cheap brands, which I'm not saying this is necessarily a cheap brand. I'm just saying that's where I see these waistbands in general. So not loving that. And yes, we have the underwear outline, but again, it is in the same tone as the rest of the leggings. So not quite as contrasting. I don't want anyone thinking that I'm being like a hypocrite because I didn't like some of them before. I'm not saying I like this. I don't know, I'm trying to just be understanding of the design. And then this one has some side pockets, the first side pockets we've seen. And then this is also screaming very yitty where they try to have the curved glute seams. They try to be flattering on the glutes, but they do it underneath the regular waistband. And it just like, it just doesn't really work for me. Get rid of this waistband and have just a waistband of this fabric. That would have been great. I would have probably liked these at that point, but I hate this elastic. Just to show you guys, this is like that shiny type elastic and then we just have performance material. But this makes me think that this curved glute seam is going to be too low for me. And for me, it has to be sitting above the hip bones to be flattering and lifting on the glutes. And then again, just all kind of one length leggings here. Okay, so here we are in the leggings, almost like these ones. Like these are definitely probably the most classic legging feeling. Like if someone was at the gym in these, it would make sense. Like these are definitely a gym type legging. First of all, these are the most truly performance legging today. They're a sleek feel, gonna be sweat wicking, high impact, gonna resist any like bands or any catching. I, I still just don't like the elastic. While it's not necessarily cutting into me, I just, I don't know, something about these elastics. I just don't really like how they fit. Also, if they're not tight, like if they're not actually tight on you, there's, this is the only piece that's actually like holding up the legging. So I prefer more of a thick style, like legging waistband. I would say you don't get the lower tummy control of a thick waistband with this, but you do have a double thickness with this little underwear line section to give a little more compression here. And like I said, I'm not really a fan of this underwear legging look. It's not something I would personally buy for myself, but at least these don't have the contrasting stitching. So they're a little less noticeable. Again, still not really for me. And then pockets are pretty spacious. You can definitely fit a phone in here. So I like that they at least have one legging a little more functional with pockets. And then we can do a booty scale on this one, but you see what I mean? These seams, like they're just a little bit low. They're a little bit low. My hip bones are like here. So they should be a little bit higher. We're gonna go with medium on the booty scale because of that. But I really just am not a big fan of this double waistband seam look. So it's not for me. Um, probably not a lot of cellulite coverage on these just because you don't tend to get a lot with the fabrics like this. Um, it's not the thickest, but compression is about medium, um, potentially medium to high. So these could be pretty compressive. And then like everything today, about seven eighths length. Um, and we will squat test these ones. But yeah, these are definitely the most classic leggings. But if I'm going for a performance legging like this, like I don't feel like there's anything too special about these that would make me buy these over another brand of performance. It's the waistband for me. Just don't love this type of waistband. So. And then I actually got two sports bras to go with those highlighter pink leggings. So the first one is actually meant to go with that collection. This is the lineup low impact sports bra. So none of these bras actually seem very large cup size friendly, which for a brand that's like, you know, preaching inclusivity and like even advertising to like pregnant women, which your cup sizes grow when you're pregnant most cases, you just think that there would be some sports bras that have a little more space for large cups. So I wish I would have seen that. And then again, we have a sports bra, no lining or anything. So nippage will be an issue here. Same performance material. You got that like shiny elastic band. And then this is this one's really just a classic racer back type sports bra. But again, it just doesn't really look like there's a lot of space for the cups. This one might be okay. All of the sports bras are advertised as like a low impact. Where's the high impact? You know, like if they're supposed to be functional, why is nothing high impact? Okay, here's the sports bra. So we got a pretty intense scoop going on. Again, I am being squished out of it. So every single bra today I have been squished out of and the bands don't feel too tight. So I know people just be like, oh, size up, size up. It won't fit 
otherwise. Like if the band is good on a small, but I'm still spilling out of it, that becomes a coverage issue, not a sizing issue. Anyways, this one has just like double lining. So there's no cut pads, which means you do have a chance for some nippage. Very scooped. So we're gonna go with low to medium coverage again. Side boot coverage is good. I just like, I'm just really not a big fan of the fabric choices. I honestly was feeling the same for Yitty and Fabletics. I just really am not a big fan of their fabrics, especially Yitty. Like this one, it, this one totally reminds me of that one Yitty outfit that also had like the shininess going on. Something about the seams on this one are just a little bit itchy as well. So again, this isn't something that I would wear and feel comfortable in long-term at the gym. Although I do think this one does look like the most like classic sports brush shape that we've tried today and support again i just feel like i'm falling out of it every time i jump support is again like light to medium so they did rank all of these like light support sports bras i get it but where are the where are the full support ones where are the high support i don't know i don't know and i'm not sure if there was a pair of leggings to go with this i think maybe there was but I didn't get it. Anyways, these are the X Mesh Medium Impact Sports Bras. There's a medium impact. I'm not, I'm not really seeing a medium impact here, but you know, we'll see. We have this sports bra, this is the front. I know we don't usually see a little crisscross in the front, but this is in the front. So again, elastic at the bottom, no cut pads or anything. And then this mesh kind of crisscrosses over. So it seems like the body of the sports bra is pretty scooped out. So I would be a little bit scared about like nippage, but we'll see. You are still semi held in by this mesh. Straps are adjustable as well. I'm appreciating how they're kind of throwing in any way to adjust the straps where they can. And then the back has a lot of coverage. So let's try this on. Okay, and last piece. So I definitely had to make sure that the girls were sitting in a place where I wouldn't be exposed at any moment. So again, another little risky piece. I just don't think it's that functional to have to be worrying about nip slips like every two seconds. But regardless, um, I've seen little styles like this before. I think they're cute. Um, the black and pink combo is definitely like a bold choice. I think they do have like some more subtle colors. Coverage, again, depends if you count the mesh or not. I'm not gonna count the mesh. I'm gonna go for a low coverage and support. Support, this one might be a medium support i do think this kind of keeps you contained a little bit again all of the fabrics today have honestly just been very itchy and i cannot wait to get back into my normal clothes that are more soft and comfortable like usually that's not an issue with activewear but i do i do tend to like go towards more cozy like soft pieces just because i just i like i like to be comfortable you don't want to be like worrying about itching and fabric chafing you at the gym. So this one I could see as a gym piece. Again, no cup pads or anything. Um, there is a little bottom band. I like this one better than some of the other ones. Um, doesn't seem like it's going to cut in. And I believe the straps are adjustable, just like a very small region to adjust, but it's something, so I like that. The back has a lot of coverage, just like kind of full, you know, pink space. And it's definitely a performance material. So you could wear it with these pink bottoms as well. I think it might have a matching bottom as well, but I figured, you know, we had tried enough bottoms, we tried enough bottoms. So, so yeah, it's almost giving swimsuit. I really think you could wear this as a swim top as well and could be functional at the gym if you are a smaller cup size. Honestly, I do feel like I'm more secure in this one than some of the other tops, so it could work. It could work. And I wish this kind of extended a little bit more, like maybe to the midline instead of like the front, but. Okay guys, that's it for the review. I think that my main issue with it is that there was such an emphasis on this being very functional and none of it was like very comfortable at all. And none of the waistbands I feel like really kept anything up. Even if the designs were something I wouldn't like or like were very out there, I could still appreciate a good like, you know, comfortable functional pair of leggings that like snatch you up, make you feel good. But none of these really did that for me. So I just, I just feel like it fell a little bit short. And you know what? I think it's just because like, I, I felt the same way about Yiddy. Like technically Yiddy is shapewear, but they made activewear as well and none of it was very good. It just doesn't feel high quality. Like none of these pieces, you feel them and you're like, yeah, this is like a high quality piece. So I don't know, I think brands should stop partnering with Fabletics. You're better off on your own. Like she was already collaborating with Adam Salman who has experience making activewear. I've never tried his activewear, but I have to bet that it's better than Fabletics. I've tried Fabletics since I reviewed them several years ago and I just really, 
I've not really liked their stuff that much. So comment down below. Definitely could see a lot of these pieces being worn for like a rave, for like a, you know, a certain type of dance class, like, you know, just things like that, kind of more niche. And for that, they are super cute, but just kind of missing the functionality. Anyways, if you made it this far, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Comment any video suggestions down below. Always looking for new suggestions. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.